How's it going, monsters? My name is Jess, and welcome to a new vlog type of video. We didn't have it since uh, ages, literally, since ages, I guess. So be sure to grab your cookies, and I hope that you will enjoy it. So, in this video, I had the idea that I will try to pronounce 30, or I don't know if 30, I don't know if we'll have that much time, but I will try to pronounce Dutch words. Um, I can't Dutch, but it's similar to German, I guess. But I still wanted to try to pronounce some of the words, so I don't know. Maybe you'll enjoy it. It can be fun. I don't know. You can pronounce them with me. But yeah, I did find this um, weird page. I know, Bitter Baller Bruit something. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I don't know if that's Dutch. I don't think it's Dutch. But there are 30. I'm using Dutch words that I will try to pronounce for you. Cookie Monsters. So, I guess we're just gonna start, I guess. Wait, what? What's that? A bitter baller... Bitter... Bitter ballen brewed. I love bitter ballen so much, I married a Dutch... No, I didn't marry a Dutch... What? No, okay, let's just pronounce the words, okay? Today I'm using Dutch words. Learning a new language can be hard, frustrating even, but it can be also fun. You just have to know where to look, right? Because I want to learn Dutch. I mean, I didn't say I don't want, but okay, let's learn Dutch. Yeah, this is this video will be called "Let's Learn Dutch with GS." Yes, we are learning Dutch. Luckily for me, you don't have to look uh, too far to find uh, funny-sounding words and phrases in Dutch. Here are some I've learned so far. All right, apetrots, apetrots, apetrots. I think I did totally nail this. Actually, this doesn't sound similar to anything in German, and it, to be honest, sounds like something nasty, like. Apetrots. Do you wanna touch my apetrots? Do you wanna lick my apetrots? I don't even know. What is this? My first Dutch what the fuck moment was uh, watching a film with subtitles when the screen flashed up Ig Ben Apetrots or Pierre. What? Literally meaning I am monkey proud on you. Wait. So Apetrot means, means monkey. You wanna lick my monkey? I mean, this didn't make sense, I guess. Wait, Apetrot means monkey. I actually do want to actually figure that out. Uh, so let me just go on Google Translate. Alright, there we go. Um, let's do this. Apetrot. Apetrot. It's in Dutch and it means proud. Oh. What? It doesn't mean monkey. I am monkey proud. Okay, it just means proud. Okay, it does mean monkey. What's monkey in that? I don't, okay, never mind. I don't want to know what's monkey in that. Okay, let's go to the next one. It's. I will make this window a bit bigger. There we go. Yay! It's a. Some a fish. Looks like a fish. I don't know, man. It's butter ham. It's something to eat for sure, though. Yeah, it's something to eat, I guess. So let me scroll down. Butter ham courtesy of Laura Frames. Okay, literally translated as butter ham. It actually means sandwich or a slice of bread. This is not bread. This is not. Is this? this that's not bread. I, I don't think that's how bread looks like. All right, next one. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> Acorn yes, broad. A e. <laughs> Acorn yes, broad. Acorn yes, broad. Acorn yes, broad. While we are on the food theme, let's go with the word for parsini mushrooms, which literally translated as. Which literally translated as little squirrels bread. What? Okay, this is confusing. And what? Ecorn. Whoa, that that's that's weird. Okay, uh, number four. Ecorn. Acorn. Sounds like acorn. It actually means squirrel. You know what? Let us go to the to number five. Oh, that's actually kind of in German, I guess. Spiegelei. Literally translated as mirror egg. This actually kind of similar in German like uh, I think you pronounce it in the same way I guess this is what you need to order this is what you need to order if you want a fried egg sunny side up okay now we know how to order uh, food yeah in Dutch that's good um, clock who is clock clock who is it's an apple clock okay I know they have such clocks there but hey that's cool I like uh, apple clocks yeah, yeah. Clockhouse, meaning apple car. Okay, apple car. Alright. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. Um, pindakas. This sounds like pandas for some reason. Pindakas, pandas, I don't know. Meaning peanut butter. Okay, peanut butter, oh, of course. It literally, it literally translates as peanut cheese. What? Pindakas, meaning peanut butter, it literally translates as peanut cheese. Do you like some peanut cheese? I like peanut cheese. It's the best 
peanut cheese ever. I don't know. Uh, Pattaya Orlok, and if I would have to guess what this, what this is, I would say a hot dog. Literally, wa literally war fries, chips in the UK. This means uh, French fries served with peanut sauce. What? Mayonnaise and finely diced raw onion. Depending on which region of the Netherlands you live in. Okay, I think that's. I don't know if that's tasty or not, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Mm, Orlok. We we just learned that Orlok means war, but Or means ear. There's nothing to eat, I guess. But Or means ear, and Lock is cumbersome. So cumbersome ear. Okay. Okay. All right, number ten. Uh, or balen, ear bells. Do you pronounce this or balen or balen or balen? Ear bells or earrings, as we like to call them. Super cute, huh? I mean, I don't know. That's not cute. Uh, capsalon, capsalon, capsalon. I, there's no no other way to pronounce it. Capsalon, I guess. I don't know. This can mean hairdresser or tasty Dutch kebab with chips, cheese, and salad. Try not to get them confused. Alright. So you can either call a hairdresser Capsalon or Dutch Kebab with. So if you. Wait. Can you offend a hairdresser if you call him Capsalon so he would think that you call him a Kebab with chi chips and. I don't know. Oh, that's very complicated. Really. Dutch is very complicated. Olje Bolen. Olje Bolen. Or oil balls. What? Oil balls? Like literal balls? What? A festive dough based treat traditionally eaten at New Year. They're basically do donuts. But the Dutchies would have it. Okay, number 13. Tent pasta. Oh, this, this, this looks nasty. This looks very nasty. Uh, tent pasta courtesy of Laura from. Okay, this looks t nasty. This doesn't look tasty. I hope. No, they, they don't need something like this. No one would eat this. A uh, tent is tooth, and you can guess what pasta means. This is the Dutch word for toothpaste. Oh, okay, toothpaste, obviously. Thanks to the party uh, poopers who point out that pasta can also mean paste. Okay, good. Handschunen. 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 This means gloves. Does this mean gloves? I think this means gloves. Yo, the Dutch word for gloves is handshoes. Tee hee hee. Alright. I mean, actually, this does it kind of sound similar to German, so... 15. Monster. This just means monster, right? I think your Dutch friend has mental issues when they say they've got a monster at home. Don't f uh, fret, it means sample. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Schoon murder. Schoon murder. Schoon murder. I don't know what it means. I I literally don't have a clue what it means. Meaning mother-in-law. I mean, it sounds kind of creepy. I, I don't know. Oh, well, thanks to Sender for this prompt. Uh, to top it off, my clean mother is called Willy. True story, bro. Okay. <laughs> uh, back feeds. Is this something to eat? Back has a whole heap of meanings in that. But I'm gonna go with bean bike or fry bike. It's actually a traditional Dutch tree cycle with a large box for transporting cargo. Galugzak. If you're a lucky guy, you may well get called a happy bag. Okay, that's that's kind of weird. Okay, 19. Ziekenauto. Ziekenauto. This sounds like something to do with a car, I would guess. Ziekenauto. Ziekenauto. That's a, a sick car, man. The cool kids don't say that there. It's an ambulance. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, and Muil Pier, Muil Pier. I don't know what it is. Uh, Muil Pier, uh, meaning slap in the face. The direct translation is mouth pier. Wait, so it does literally mean slap in the face. So if you want to so, someone to slap someone, you'll be like Muil Pier. I don't know how him is in that. So Muil Pier something. Toilet, toilet brill. This has to be something to do with the toilet. This has to be something that has to do with toilet for sure. Toilet brill. The word for toilet seat can be literally interpreted as toilet glasses. Do you like my toilet glasses? 
They are totally cool. I'm not wearing them at the moment. Wait, where are my toilet glasses? I've got my toilet glasses right here. Oh crap, I've got even two. Holy crap. Alright. Uh, like this? Am I cool yet? I think I'm cool. I'm totally cool now. You bet you never did see someone wear two pair of glasses. These are my toilet glasses. Yeah. Okay, next one. Can... Can go a one... Can go... Can go arrow a warning. What the hell? Another cute one. Granny Flat's literal translation is kangaroo. What? All right. Never mind. Twenty-three. Mierenoiker. 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 I'm monkey. Proud to have learned this word today. Meaning end fucker. What? Okay, this is some complicated stuff right now. Ray, really, I'm proud to have learned this word today, meaning ant fucker. So, Miranelker means ant fucker. Ant fucker. It describes someone who frets and fuses over completely insignificant and minor details. Like nitpicker, I guess. Okay. Kicker. Sounds I. I. <laughs> kicker. Sounds like kicker. What? <laughs> Means frog. Awesomeness. Oh, I'm so confused right now. Wind hound. This is for sure a dog. Not even kidding. This is a dog. Greyhound is literally translated in Dutch as wind dog. Yay. I really need to drink something. This pronouncing though. Zero wolf. This has to do something with wolf. Sea wolf. Sea wolf. No, I, I don't know. Z, C. Sea wolf. Yeah, sea wolf. I, I said sea wolf. Meaning catfish. Okay. Okay, about a million Dutch people told me that catfish is Mirval. Mijin excuses. Damn, you Google Translate. So Zero Wolf is Sea Wolf. Obvious. Uh, ice Bear means Ice Bear or Polar Bear or something like this. Known for the logic, the direct Dutch translation for Polar Bear is Ice Bear. Eats can also mean ice cream. Even better. So Eats is ice cream. Okay, now we learn how you can ask for ice cream in Dutch to say eats. Yeah, that's how we do it. Now you can survive when you're in the Netherlands or something because you can ask for ice cream. See, you learned something today. Uh, flare moist. It's probably like a bat. Wing mouse. Ugh, hook. You got it. Bad. I guess my Dutch isn't that bad at all, actually. Uh, was beer. It's this thing, I don't know how you say it in English though. Alright, Game Monsters, so I was kind of low on time and I couldn't pronounce all of the words, so I had to edit there, but I really hope that you did enjoy this video, vlog type of video, whatever. I did really enjoy it, it was kind of fun for me to make a video, video like this. I might actually end up doing more vlogs, because I don't know, I think they're kind of fun and just make uh, random vlogs about random stuff, so I guess I could do this, I don't know, leave me your feedback in the comments, I really would appreciate it, um, leave me like also if you enjoyed it, it really helps me a lot, subscribe to become a cookie monster and to get the cookies, and as always, I'll see your cookies face in the next video, thanks for watching. Before we find a person afraid of their own body, how? Um, hey, hey, are you afraid of a glass? Are you afraid of a glass? There. Wait, what, what? Is that for me? No, no, not for you. No. Is this, this is, no. Can I, what? No, you, you, what? Can I, can I have this? Hey girl, how you doing? Keep, keep on coming, alright?